Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I present SB 1235, which I believe is a common sense way to address the ammunition sale issue in California. Whether you are a Second Amendment champion or somebody who wants to bring about smart gun laws in California, we all agree we should try to keep ammunition out of the hands of dangerous people and criminals. And after 10 years of, of local ordinances, state laws, court decisions, I think this finally is a, a smart and simple approach doing this. And uh, let me just to tell you a, a brief story as far as how I got here. I've been working on this issue for 10 years. I love my job as an assembly member. Like many of you, I came from local government. I loved being a council member. But what I really did not like is as a young council member, I got the call from our police chief and our police department too often that said, a young person has died in your district. I remember when they called me about a 15-year-old, Abel Alfonso, who got shot and killed in front of his mother's house. A few months later, a young 18-year-old pregnant woman was walking next to George Sim Park, shot in the head, rendered blind. I asked my police chief, what could we do? He said, let's focus on ammunition. That's where it all counts, to make sure that felons and dangerous people aren't purchasing ammunition. So we wrote an ordinance here locally, was very successful. 200 felony arrests, 400 illegal firearms confiscated, rocket launchers, literally a grenade rocket launcher, thousands of rounds of ammunition, drugs, cash, confiscated because we went after felons who were purchasing ammunition. But what did, they, what, did they, what did we do? What did the felons do? They went to the other city. They went to a jurisdiction next door. So that that focus on the need for a statewide solution. So my local ordinance became the basis of then Assemblymember De Leon's measure 962 to focus on a statewide system for regulating ammunition sales. That was held up in the courts, the definition of handguns versus long guns. And so we, we finally came about what we think is a real common sense way to really address this issue once and for all. Not reinventing the wheel, not doing a background check on all 10 million firearms owners in California, but doing a, a, an approach that uses existing technology, use existing databases to allow fire purchasers to go into a gun shop, a gun store, a vendor, and swipe their ID or give their license and it'll automatically pull up if the person is an armed and prohibited individual and or if they're already in the database system for owning a firearm, allowing it to be much more cost efficient to the taxpayer, much easier to the gun owner. It's supported by law enforcement. Our police chiefs association and our police chief here in Sacramento and LA, they support this measure because they know it brings about a common sense approach to making sure that ammunition stays out of the hands of felons. Again, this uses existing DOJ, DOJ databases and systems. The measure would not go into effect until the technology is, is out on the marketplace. We, we estimate 2019. There would be a simple $1 transaction fee per purchase to make sure the database is up and running. If a gun owner or a, a, um, a gun show doesn't have uh, internet access, doesn't have a smartphone, they can call up an 800 number at DOJ give them the person's driver's license number, immediately red light, green light goes up to make sure the person buying ammunition is not a dangerous individual. Again, this finally brings us to a solution to this issue after nearly a decade, a smart approach. I ask for your eye vote.